Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. Um, in today's video, I have a pretty massive Kiki K haul with, to share with you guys. So um, I'm gonna quickly get started because I do have quite a lot of different things here and I want to share it with you before I start using them. So let's quickly get started. So first off, I'm just going to move some of the things off to the side so I have a little bit more space. Um, I'm not really sure which one to start with. Okay, maybe I will start with the lifestyle stuff first. Because I only have a few of those and then the rest of the other stuff that I got are stationary items which will not be a surprise for you guys. So the first item that I got is this. So these are the string lights. Um, I call them fairy lights. Um, I use this in my bedroom quite a lot. So um, this one is the 10 meters one. So it's 33 feet. Um, and yeah, so it includes 100 warm white glow LED lights on copper string. So this is only for indoor use only. So if you guys want to see what it looks like, it's just a it's just copper string lights like that and you do need to put batteries in it so I have put batteries in it just so you can kind of see what it looks like so you just need three double A batteries and so I've done that already so you can kind of see what it looks like like that I'm excited to use this because um, my other string lights that I have in my bedroom have um, seen better days. They're a little bit old and they're not, not all of them are lighting up anymore. So I thought it was time to replace them. So this is something that I've been wanting for quite a long time. So I'm really happy to finally pick it up. Um, and I think the copper color is going to look really nice in my bedroom. So if you're, not, if you're into like um, light ambience and like mood setting, then I think this is always um, a good thing. It's also really good to use in photographs if you're into that kind of thing. So that is the first thing that I got. And then the next item, I got two of them. And these, it's called the Porcelain Cat Cup. So I haven't really bought many of their um, mugs, but when I saw this one, I had to have it. It's so adorable. Guys, look at it. It's so cute. So it's just a little porcelain cup, perfect for tea and coffee, and it just has a little um, foiling of the cat's face, and the nose is like a little heart. It's so precious. So that's what it looks like. Um, it's hand wash only and it's not microwave safe so just keep that in mind if you are purchasing that so i did get a second one um, just so we can have a matching pair so that is the second kind of lifestyle item that i got and i think it's a really good size for coffee just to hold in your hand um, it's not that big but i think it's just the perfect size so I am super stoked about this one. I can't wait for the winter um, days to come so I can finally use this. Okay, so I'm going to move on to kind of the smaller um, little stationary items before I move on to the more larger ones. Let me put them on the table here. So the first couple of things I got are these bulldog clips and these are the large bulldog clips. So these were on a really good discount so I ended up picking two of them. So this is the rose gold one and then this is the gold one and I just think that they're really handy to have especially if you have like a hobonichi um, and you use like the pencil boards with it so you can kind of clip them down into place. Um, I do have an A5 hobonichi so um, having the larger clips is great for that one just because of the size obviously um, so I picked up these two they're just really handy to have um, and I think they're quite cute and functional at the same time so speaking of cute I also picked up these adhesive tabs um, they're kind of like mini post-it notes but what's unique about this one is that you can kind of um, 
have them on the side of your pages and then you can just label them as like a tab so they're more like temporary tabs in a way and I really like the colors they did have another set that had more like yellows and greens in it um, but I prefer these kind of colors anyways so I thought they would match my setups a bit better and then they also come on this punch board so you can just um, slip it into whatever ring binder that you are in so I'm really happy to have that and I've been looking for something similar to this for quite a while um, another quite functional item that I got is um, this metal ruler it just comes in a little sleeve like that and um, yeah it's quite a sturdy metal ruler and it comes in a lot of different colors I wanted to get the mint one but it was out of stock when I tried to check out so I ended up getting the black one instead which is totally fine so this is a 12 inch metal ruler it's very very sturdy it's not really bendable but I think it might be good for cutting washi with or just um, I use a ruler often when making my dashboards so um, I'm happy to have another one of those and then I also picked up these um, scissors and they're in the vintage rose I saw a lot of people have this and I just really really wanted them obviously scissors you can probably get from anywhere but I don't know I just really like the kind of rose look of these so I've already tested them out and they do cut really well I am going to be putting this in my journaling pouch my Hobonichi pouch so um, I have a pair of scissors um, available whenever I need it when I'm journaling because I do um, add pictures quite often in my journal so I do need to cut them out from time to time so having a pair in that pouch will be um, really handy to have and um, these ones are just so cute that I think they're I'm gonna put them in the um, pink sparkle Hobonichi pouch I think it'll match really well with that pouch so that is my plan for that and then um, I did pick up a couple of pens because um, they're only like a dollar each so um, I've never tried any of these but these are the retractable um, what are they called they are the metal retractable ballpoint pens um, and this is in the gray gold so I got this just because I felt like the neutral color would match with pretty much everything and then the other one that I got is the almond color and uh, I'll show you what I got this um, to match with but yeah um, they seem really good um, they're quite heavy so I think that might be a bonus um, they don't feel cheap at all even though they were like a dollar so the next item that I got I got two of again and I'll show you what one looks like it actually comes in a box and the box does have some foiling on it it says big ideas have to start somewhere and these are the metal twist pens and one of these actually on its own is like $20 but I got this whole entire set for like $7 so it was on really good discount so I couldn't pass them up hence why I picked up two um, and so they are just um, these beautiful metal pens they are ballpoint pens and they twist out like that um, I do have another version of this gold one um, but yeah this one seems a lot more heftier and the barrel is actually a lot thicker than my other one so um, I'm really happy to have this one because I've had my eye on it for quite a long time um, so this is just what the silver looks like same exact thing but just in the silver and then this is the rose gold which is probably my favorite I don't know I really like the gold one as well but um, yeah they're all ballpoint pens and I've been really into ballpoint pens lately so I'm excited to finally have this in my collection so two of those and I really like the box that it comes with as well really nice presentation okay so next up I did pick up a um, tab set so this is a divider set in the B6 size um, you may have seen this if you watch my previous haul videos um, I did pick this up in the A5 and the personal size before um, I just really like these tabs um, I am a person that really likes side tabs 
Um, and I also really like just like neutral colors, so like white and black, which is what um, this set is. So in this set, you do get two sets of dividers. And you also get the stickers that go along with it. So the first set is white and gold. Um, so that is what that looks like. So each set comes with seven dividers and I really like having seven tabs in my planner. It's just what I work with the most. So the first one kind of has this line um, design. It's kind of hard to see on camera because it is white and it's foiled, but it's beautiful. This one has the polka dots on it. And then this one has a grid pattern. This one is the next design. And then we have the pinstripes for the next one. And then the next one is also polka dots, but um, they're a little bit more closer together. And then the last one is this really cute gingham style. I really like this pattern. So just so you know, the back of them are all plain white, which is totally fine by me. So that's the first set of dividers. The second one is just black on the front, and then on the back is just the plain white. So you do get um, your tab stickers. Um, they some of them come with um, labels already written on it, and then the others you can um, fill it in yourself. So that's what the black one looks like, and then this is what the white one looks like. So for me, these are just kind of essentials, so I wanted to pick them up while they were on sale. Um, I will use them in my Oristel planners or my other Kiki K planners um, that are in the B6 or personal wide size. Next up, I got a few of these um, Ziploc pockets. So this comes in a five pack and this is made for the personal size. So let me take it out of the packaging. So this one comes with the kind of um, Ziploc style like this. They do have another version where you just press it. So it comes in a variety of different designs. So I'm just going to show you what they look like. So these two here are polka dots. It's hard to see because it's just white um, and clear. So this one just has the polka dots on it, white polka dots on the clear plastic. And then this is also a polka dot one, but it has the mint on it, really sweet. Um, this one is just a totally clear one. So you can probably use this one as a dashboard if you want, which is quite handy. Um, this one has blue stripes on it. And then the other one is also a striped pattern, but it's um, in the pink. So I feel like it'll match all my different planners. I do have colors that match this pouch. So um, I'm really excited to finally have these in the personal size. Um, and then since I got it in the personal size, I did pick them up in the large. I've never had these pockets for the large, so um, I'm excited to finally have these. Um, and these ones are the press ones, so they don't have the Ziploc. Um, so you would just open it like this. And then if you want to close it, you would just press it down. And that way you don't have the bulk of the little clasp here on the side. And it can lay a little bit more flat in your planner. So I will show you the different designs once again for the large. Um, so this one is the clear with the white polka dots. This next one is the blue stripes. Super cute. Um, another one with stripes, but this is yellow. And then another striped one, but this is in the pink color, blush pink. And then you have a polka dot that's in the mint green. So I like that these ones don't have the Ziploc on them just because 
um, in my A5 work planner it's quite bulky already so I appreciate um, the fact that they have option to get the zip one or the ones without so I am looking forward to putting some extra bits and pieces um, I intend to put um, cash in here or any checks that need to be deposited um, the next item that I got is a paper lovers book and KK is quite famous for these paper lovers book and this one is from the she shines collection so there are um, three different collections that are in this um, paper lovers book so it has the she shines collection the inspiration which is this one with the lovely yellows and blues and then also the a little luxury collection which is the coral collection so I will go through this quite briefly so you guys can see what it looks like so it just has different types of paper and they are perforated here on the side so you can um, rip them out and use them as no paper or you can put them in picture frames if you want um, you can use them as dashboards in your planner so they have a lot of different designs And then you have an envelope here, different types of envelopes. You can always punch these to put in your planner. Um, you have some patterned paper and then you also have some stickers. This foiling is a bit like, um, it's kind of like a champagne tone, really pretty in the stars. Um, this is a treat box, which is kind of neat. And then you also have a gift box here. So a couple of those. And then you have some more stickers in the champagne. And then this is a heart fan. I've never seen that before. Um, and then this one's a paper rosette. And then you can have paper tassels with this one and some more stickers so these ones are not foiled and then you also have um, these stickers they're a little bit larger they're quote stickers so these would be nice on dashboards if you want to use it for that this is a star paper mobile so that's for two pages and then you also get some note cards here and these are foiled so you have them in different shapes and designs and then you get some quote cards that are larger ones and then you have the gift tags which are cute in planners I love to put them in the rings or in the pockets so you have some more gift tags here and these ones have a little bit of foiling on them and then now we're into the inspiration range um, this one says imagine, dream, do and create so it has this really pretty yellow. It's not too bright of a yellow, which is nice. And then you have this really calm blue. I like this combination. So again, another envelope. You have some patterned paper, which is an interesting color. It's kind of looks metallic, but not really. Some more patterned paper. You have a gift box. And then you have some door hangers and some paper bows. And then here's some greeting cards, some note cards, and more gift tags. I really like the colors in this collection. And then some stickers. So this one has gold foiling on it. And then you have some labels, so to and from. And then now we are moving into the A Little Luxury collection. So you have some patterned paper for that. This one's super cute. And then this one is in the shiny gold. So these are all the stickers. And then you have some more patterned paper. And some more note paper. And it's beautiful peach color and then you have a letter envelope here more envelopes 
This is a mini gift bag. And then you have some foiling on these really cute gift cards. So you have some more note cards or quote cards. And these are larger ones. And then you have some bookmarks here. And then you also have some alpha stickers, which are nice to have. And then you have the gift tags with some foiling on them. And then these are the patterned paper. So one side you get these stars, and then inside it has um, this more smaller design of the stars. And then this one, you have the speckled spots. And then on the inside, you have the swatches. So that is the Paper Lovers book. Really cute. And then, that is. Um, and last but not least, I do have some planners. I don't make an order from Kiki K without getting at least one planner. But the first item that I got here is in this really small cute bag. Um, and I just got um, this card holder, and this is in the mint leather. So this is just a small card holder like this. So this is just one of these small card holders. You get two um, credit card slots here, one larger slot that opens up like this. And then you have two more here on the side. Um, it does have a little ring here, so you can attach it to your keys if you wish. Or if you have the hooks on your bags, that's really handy as well. So um, this is just something that I wanted for quite a while. And I like how slim it is, so I think it'll be really nice in my purse for the extra kind of like rewards cards or membership cards um, just to keep with my wallet. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, so let's start with the first planner that I got. So I picked up the B6 Vintage Rose Planner. You may have seen this before from my channel, but um, yeah, I've picked this up in the A5 size and I really love it. So I decided that I'm going to move into B6 next year for... Um, my more personal stuff just because personal size and pocket size is a little bit too small for me now. So I picked up um, a B6 um, just so I can rotate with some of the other ones that I have. So this is the Vintage Rose Leather. So um, this one has the gold hardware in it and it does have the two clasps. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. Let me just move some of the packaging here. So you do get the large back pocket here, a zippered pocket, which is great to hold cash or checks, um, a secretarial pocket, and then you do have five little card slots over here. Um, you do get the 30 millimeter rings, and these are in rose gold this time. Um, and then you'd also get a pen loop here on the side. The back has a plain lined notepad. And then let me open this up so you can see what the dividers look like. So I believe all the dividers in here are all the same. So the dividers are all in rose gold. And in here you do get a set of stickers that match the colorway. And then you also get a page lifter. So I like that they include this now. Um, and then you do get some monthlies. So it is a Monday start. And then you do get uh, vertical weeklies. So it kind of goes like this. So notes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then you have a space for your month and your week. And then I believe the rest of it is note paper. So it's lined paper nice quality paper. You do get some grid as well. And then you also get some plain. So that is the planner. And then at the very top here, you do have this small elastic and that you can hang um, some charms from if you wish. So that is my newest B6 planner. Super excited to move into this. I'm definitely gonna be using this next year. 
And then I did also pick up an A5 because A5 is my main work planner. And I picked up the almond color. So the funny story about this planner is that um, I did pick it up in the travel wallet and I also have a, a pencil case in this color and at first I wasn't sure that I liked this color but once I saw it on my desk like with my other stuff I don't know there's just something about this color that I really love it's so neutral um, but it's still quite light so I think at this time of the year when it's still summertime but um, you want something a little bit more neutral I think this is like the perfect color um, right now I'm in my file effects patent new and I really love the color of that planner but the problem with me with the file effects is that the rings are too small so I think they're only 25 or 28 millimeters and I definitely need 30 millimeters especially in my main work planner it's what I use as an author so um, I wanted something that's a little bit similar to that patent nude color but in the 30 millimeter rings and Kiki K automatically comes with the 30 millimeter rings so um, I felt like this color was probably the closest that I could get to that patent nude so once again this is the almond color so the main difference is from the other one is that th so this is gold so you do get the class again with the double class and then you can see here that you do get the same pocket configuration. So the back pocket, the zippered pocket, the secretarial pocket, and then you get the top pocket here and then the three cart slots here. You do get the elastic again. And then here you do have the 30 millimeter gold rings. So since it's gold, the dividers in here are also gold. So let me show you what that looks like. So once again, they are all the same in the gold. And this is the stickers. So they kind of match the planner. And then the page lifter is a really pale nude color. And then once again, you get the monthly spread, starts on Monday. And then again, you have the weeklies that are in the vertical format. So notes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then again, note paper, notes, paper. So all the dividers are the same. And then you get some grid paper here and then some blank paper. And then at the back, again, you do get the plain lined notepad and then a elastic pen loop. So I'm gonna move into this right away because as much as I love that File Effects Panet Nude, um, the rings are just way too small for me. My dividers are kind of getting ruined here on the bottom because the, um, the rings are too small, so. Yeah, I'm excited to move into this. So that is everything I picked up in my recent order from Kiki K. Let me know what is your favorite thing that I picked up in the comment box below. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you watched to the end, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.